Okay, so in this video, we're going to connect to a remote GNS3 server. Now you'll notice here that I do have my VPN connected because the server is in a um, protected part of our network and I'm connecting remotely. And then we're going to go open GNS3. I'm going to cancel this project. And my, I do have mine set up for um, using the virtual machine, so I'll stop that. Uh, we'll go to Edit and Preferences, and we'll go to Server. I'm going to uncheck the Enable Local Server, um, and on the uh, IP address here, um, you have to check your port number. Um, we do have uh, authentication set up on our servers because we use these. Um, for students. So we'll get a, uh, a username and a password that we will give out to students. Okay, so let's go file, new blank project. Project one, and we'll do okay. And then, if you look here, um, we have uh, a number of uh, appliances already installed on our server. Um, so you should be able to pick this up from the left-hand side and move it over to the right, and um, and then you should be able to start it and, and do what you need to do. If you are just setting up your server, um, you don't have any installed appliances, and you can go um, to Available Appliances. And this gives you all of the things that you can run on GS GNS3. So if you have the iOS or the operating system files for the uh, available appliances, uh, you can pick it up on the left, move it over to the right, and it's going to go through a wizard that will uh, set that up for you. And that's really it. That's all you need to know uh, to use GNS3 on a remote server.